Hey everyone, welcome back to Catching Up with the Walkers. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. If you're having your cup of coffee, I have some breakfast to go with it. So let me show you what we're eating for breakfast this morning. We always like to share, and sometimes we share our food. So we call these egg in a hole. I don't know what you call it, if you've never heard of it, some people may not. But you basically tear out the middle. I'm toasting up the middle of the, uh, the hole, I guess. Uh, as we would call it, and a piece of sausage, a couple egg in the holes for one for Cassie, one for me, and then a subscriber sent us this Silver Lake Syrups Maple Jelly, and it is really good, and that's what I'm going to put on the little Silver Dollar uh, pieces of toast. I think those are done, and uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys call that. If you don't call egg in a hole. Uh, what do you call it? I know we didn't come up with it, but that's what we call it. And Cassie's getting ready right now, so she'll join us in just a minute. But we have to get ready for the donkeys. They are moving, and they're going to be moving tomorrow. But not far away. They're just moving to the vet and uh, going to be getting some testing done to see if they're pregnant or not pregnant. Um, so we have to prepare some pins for that. I want to make sure that I'm able to load them all by myself, no matter what to make sure we can get them to the vet for their appointment. So come along, we're gonna head outside, work on that, and take care of some other stuff. So so Cassie, how was breakfast? Good. Gary fed me to make me put on gloves. I fed her well. I don't like wearing gloves. Because I knew we were gonna be working for it a little It doesn't mean I don't like working, I just don't like wearing gloves. I'd rather not wear gloves, but you know, there's a time and place for gloves. So the reason to wear gloves though for today is because of this. There's a little bit of rust on here. Why haven't you painted this, Gary? Huh? Why haven't you painted this? I did paint it. Oh. My favorite color. Rust? Yeah, it's beautiful. So, if you guys aren't familiar, this is our cattle working system, also known as a donkey working system, to tomorrow, because I'm gonna be using it to load Cassie's donkeys up. Yeah, are, are they coming back? Uh, the pins. <laughs> if they offer me enough money, they will not come back. That's just a risk you take anytime I leave the farm with any animal, Cassie. You know that. All right. So uh, we've had this how many years now? Two years, two or three years at Rose. Plus your time hop yesterday said this is going into year. This is six years here going into year seven. So we've had it almost ten years. Yeah, uh, eight, nine, eight, nine. Probably nine to ten years. And the reason we bought this specifically is because it's portable. Yep. And we knew when we lived at um, our old farm that we were going to be moving at some point. So we didn't put um, pipe in the ground and weld it. We bought something portable that's still heavy duty. And we already moved half of it. We moved the tub and uh, the head gate. So now today we're gonna be moving the rest. But first, let's check on the donkeys. How are you girls? How are you girls? Dolly's good. Dolly's a little darker than the others. She's grow, grown a little bit, but I think she's going to stay a little smaller, I hope, at least. Yeah. At least not very tall. So, Girls, you just waiting for food? Duh. I've been seeing uh, some pregnant or uh, baby donkeys being born. They are really cute. I don't know if ours will be that cute, but when we have some, we'll get to tell. Yep, and they're losing their winter coat, so they look kind of like a hot mess right now. Yeah. All right, well, one way to move them, let's get them in a pen. They might actually load up otherwise, but I really like the idea of having my cattle tub to where they have no way to go except inside the trailer. Yeah. Um, because when me and you loaded them, it was... It, was, it took what, two people or three? Uh, yeah. I feel like the head gate should face the other way though so you can back your truck in. No, the loadout gate is, I'll show you. Cause you oh, so you might not always put them through the head gate and then load them? No, okay. you never load them out through the head gate. Okay. There's a loadout, there's a cut gate to load them out I before that. that. We'll get over there in a minute though. Brain we fart. We gotta start remembering, my main thing is remembering where each panel goes over there so my goal is we're I'm gonna move them one at a time. Sound Where good? Are these girls gonna go? Uh, they'll be 
I'm going to have you open and shutting this gate for me. Oh. That was another part is I don't want them out. I'm going to drive the tractor in right through here. So you ready? Born ready. All right. So the way that all of these are held together is simple. Just with some bolts and nuts. If you get the right size on there. But uh, you just found it a while ago. I know. There we go. And Gary keeps saying, do you think this panel goes here or there? I'm not offering any advice because when it's wrong, it's not my fault. Well, here's the thing. We have to get, we have to try. That was slipping, I think. Oh, you got it. We have to try because I've done this about six times, taken it apart, moved it. Well, that's why I'm just going to let you do it. And I've had it wrong more than once. Well... this way and one of the panels goes that way is that right yep all right you guys heard it if i'm wrong it's cassie's fault 100 percent no i'm joking uh i'm 90 percent sure that's how it goes so i'm gonna drag this one watch out baby these panels weigh about 125 to 200 pounds depending on how long they are i'm kind of worried if i set this down they're gonna try to eat it which is why i have cassie out here She's my muscles. Also, I dropped one of these on me. She's my call to 911. Quick, what's the what's the number to 911? 712. 712. Okay. Now, where's the bolts that came out of that? So all, so th that that one, those bolts will go through this one, this one, and that one all oh, at the same okay. time. So once we get it to the right spot. A little bit more, okay. So that one should stand there. So I'm gonna put the camera up in just a minute, but I wanted to show you guys before I do. It's gonna take us seven hours. Yeah, it'll take us 700 hours. Um, but you can put all three of these dog ears together and put one bolt in there. Same thing down here at the bottom. And what happens once you put, you know, like 10, 150 pound panels together, you end up with a ton, literally, close to one ton of metal. So it really makes it a solid pin. Well. If you look at these gray panels, they're falling apart. They've seen better days. And you look at these and there might be something that a cow has hit or kicked or whatever and bent. Tractor, by, most likely. Oh, yeah. yeah. But they're still going strong. Yeah, and you can weld on these. So if something did bust, all of this can be welded. Light panels from the tractor supply store or wherever, a lot of times you can't even weld on them. Um, and they're not going to last. But these, I am confident, will be here when I'm not here. So... That's uh, plenty for me, and that's all it takes. So we're going to go ahead and get all these bolted up, but whenever we finish, we will catch up with you and show you the finished product. Right, Cass? And are we telling them or showing them where the donkeys are going? Oh, did we tell them? I don't I didn't. Go ahead and tell them. So we're going to be, Gary, because I'm going to be at work, is going to be taking uh, Loretta and June to be preg-checked. 
Um, I'm pretty sure that June's pregnant. Um, I'm pretty sure Loretta isn't, but we're going to take them to get preg checked. Patsy, if she's not, then she's got something else going on. She's got a tumor the size of a, a You know, maybe you it. should take her and just see how far along. As long as it doesn't stress her too much, it, it shouldn't, should it? No. I mean, the, the vet we're going to is only about a five-minute drive. Yeah. And so I might, but, uh, I might take her. We're getting them preg checked because next month we're going to a sale that if they're not all pregnant... Possibly I would get a jack or I'm going to start looking to uh, rent a jack or something um, Because now's the time to breed them so that they'll be having a baby uh, next year about this time. So um, If they're not pregnant, then we want them to get pregnant and if they're already pregnant I don't need a jack. So that is the reason I think I did tell them at breakfast, but you gave them a oh. full a full explanation but we bought them And the man said they were all pregnant now Dolly's not pregnant because she's well over a year old, so. Yeah, Do Dolly is just was a yearling, but she's probably going to be old enough to breed by this fall, or. Well, she, yeah, we'll probably do this fall, and then she'd have a fall baby. Or is she old enough to breed now? We might should ask the vet about that. Okay, that's if good. If you Google it or watch other homesteaders, everyone says something different. A lot of it says a year to two years old. Some say wait till they're three or four years, which. So just like any other animal, animal, ask ten people, you get thirty different opinions. So, so I can go ahead. I should go ahead and bring her and just have them look at her, maybe, and say when he thinks she's old enough to breed, just based on her size. Maybe. Okay. And see if he knows for sure how old she is, because I don't know how old she is. All right. Well, that's the uh, plan, though. But first, I want to have these panels together, and then when I'm done, I'll show you how I'm going to manage these donkeys through the panels. If if you've been following along, you've seen us do it with cattle, but um, we're going to do it with donkeys. All right, Cassie, are you tired? Well, the gloves didn't last long, and my hands are a little orange. It's hard to do work in gloves, isn't it? I just don't like it. With nuts and bolts and stuff. But the pin is finished, so to speak. Uh, our first contestant, Dolly. So right now, the goal is to get the animals into that somehow. It's really easy with donkeys. And then once they're in there... With gentle donkeys. With gentle donkeys. Once they're in there. Oh, lost a load, another leg to the tripod. Oh. I ordered a brand new tripod yesterday. There's my leg. But once they're in there, whatever animal's in here, then they're caught. So we have never had a cow escape. Knock on metal. We've never had a cow escape um, this pin. So once they're in here, then they go to this pin. And once they're in this pin, they go through the tub all the way around this is where you're asking me earlier about loading them out yeah so the loadout is once they get in here in the tub they have nowhere else to go except around and around and here is our loadout so I the, forgot that was over there. yep the trailer backs right here and the whole reason the pin is sitting where it's at is because of that one loadout nope. and that way I can back my trailer up on gravel my pickup never has to go in the pasture never have to open a gate except if I have those panels up but I was wondering what you're gonna do to finish that out well that is a, a work in progress I want to hang a couple gates is my plan just so I can have the only reason is to have animals coming in to the under the under the shed so all right Cassie you ready for a break I'm thirsty. Me too. All right. Well, we have figured out who the most curious and annoying animals are on the farm today. The donkeys. The donkeys. They are in your hip pocket all the time, no matter what. Except for Loretta. She's getting closer, but she still don't really want to be our friend. So we took a little bit of a break. Cassie should be coming out anytime. Right there she is behind me. But um, over on Walker Farm Fam, we got the garden planted. So I was going to show that real quick. Uh, we have... Lemon drop tomatoes, beef steak, mortgage lifter. We have four uh, crooked neck uh, yellow squash, four zucchini, lots of bell peppers, and then our onions and all of that is doing well. So, Cassie, I got a little bit of history when I talked about the mortgage lifter tomato. Oh, yeah? Yeah, there was a guy uh, a long time ago, he like created this breed of tomato and he sold so many of them he paid off his mortgage so that's why it's called the mortgage lifter myth 
No, that's fact. Oh. It's actually his name. It's um, a very hearty heirloom tomato. Uh, about time to hoe out the onions, though. That's a big one. Big rock. I need to take it out, out of here. So, the lettuce was kind of getting a slow start, but we're going to get some rain tonight. And um, we'll just have to see. If I have time, I might pl try to plant some corn later today. But I have a lot to do, Cass. I also have to change the oil on that. Better get busy. I'm not helping. I need some extra pay for this. Oh. I haven't gotten my, my, my mechanics pay lately. I'll let your boss know. Okay. I don't have one. You get one shot, Coach Walker. Uh-oh. Oh, so close. Now you can put the ball up that your kids did not put up. Yep. See, our kids aren't perfect. Huh. It's the only thing sometimes I worry about YouTube is sometimes people think, because we do try to show the good things, but nobody's perfect. And hopefully people realize that. Our kids are kids. Our kids are kids. There's a thing called editing. Yeah, we edit stuff, which hopefully you would appreciate. But also, surely they wouldn't act a when the camera's rolling. Yeah, so... I mean, they are better than that. Here are eggs that are going to the food pantry tomorrow. But this, I was going to give you guys a quick update. Cassie has been doing her Easter egg hunts. And these are duck. Yeah, these are turkey. This one's huge. That is a big old turkey egg. These are duck. I'm going to take these to a teacher. Mm -hmm. But I just started collecting over here. American breasts. And then runner ducks and turkey eggs. I'm gonna collect for a week and take them to a local sale and see how they do. So this is a chicken auction, the same auction that we got um, uh, Lily. Lily and her 11 chicks. Yeah, they have- It's called Peg's Poultry Sale. It's April 20th and take some, see how it does and see if it's worth my time. All right, so that's what Cassie is up to. Someone keeps laying this huge one though. And I don't know if I should send it or not. Because see, like, these are this size, mm -hmm. and then that's that size. I opened one, and it wasn't a double yoker. The bigger ones might be from Tesla because she's an older, yeah, well, that's what I'm wondering. more mature hen. I don't know. Just a thought. All right, but we got to go look for a few more, right? Yep. So rumor has it that if you have one goat on the place, they'll be the one animal that gets in trouble. Do you believe it? I do. You know how I, I believe it? Because I see, I see it. Look over here. Rowdy, what are you doing? Dude, are you stuck? Hey, first of all, why? How did you get in there? And why? What are you doing? There's not even any food in there, man. All right, I want to come around and help Rowdy out. Or what, Cassie? How do you get in there? He's a troublemaker. If you just turn it up on his end, he had his fold. He walked right out. Shell, uh, Zena. Is there eggs? No eggs? Not there. Okay. It's kind of early. This is the typical spot where there's duck egg, and there's not any there. So, I did come out earlier this morning and I found two. Oh, okay. So there's, there's a chance there might not be any. Your ducks are looking peaceful over here. Just hanging out. Waiting for me to feed them and give them water later. Hazel's just very, very fat, but might be a lot of hair. Well, she, she's Olive's baby, which means she has a lot going for her, and she uh, she never got sheared last year. Yeah, because you don't shear the baby. Yeah, because she was a baby, so she has probably, I'd say, a little bit extra wool, but anyway, 
I don't know. Has the shears contacted you? Uh, so yes, we have a shear. Um, he's gonna give us a date. He confirmed that he's on. <laughs> we're waiting his. We're waiting his schedule. Yeah, but he confirmed that he's got. He's putting us on it. Yes. So this morning I found one there and one there. There's it's one at, random. Oh, that is random. Just yeah. But it's a good thing you're looking because otherwise. And then they've made. I'm pretty sure it's the Narragansett. She's made that really deep. Yeah, that's her nest, her go-to nest. So it's nice to be able to come out and actually know exactly where to look for one. Yeah. So. She talks a lot. The Narragansett? Mm -hmm. Tina! Tina! What do you want, girl? It's not, it's not time to eat yet. Tom Henry's getting defensive. He says, hey. I'm be talking to. I bet you I could go over there and hold Tom Henry. Okay, I'll take that bet. Cassie says she can go over there and hold Tom Henry. Yep, I guess I won that bet. So before we end the video, uh, Cassie accused me the other day of something. I want to come clean to everybody. I have a confession to make. Not really. I didn't even think about it as being a big deal. Oh, okay. But Cassie did apparently because she saw it and I was like, I didn't even think about it. What happened? Huh? I, you said, I didn't even think about it being a big deal. No. It like was an afterthought. So why was it a big deal when I hit the shop? Because we were recording it in the middle of a video. Oh. And that was the only thing that made it a big deal. Uh, so, probably when did we when did I first move hay in here? Don't know. After our first time we got our hay cut, which was summer of last year. At some point, I was stacking a bell and I went to back up to turn around, come out, and my hay fork caught right here. And I went forward a little bit, and my top fork caught up there. Cassie doesn't like how I downplayed it. But, my confession, my wife accused me of uh, keeping... Ruining the shop no, and not telling me? I mean, you the barn? You accused me of keeping secrets. Yeah. But it's not a secret. You never came in and was like... Dude, I just smoked the barn. You or, never, oh, I, I hit the barn. You never asked. So the minute I did it, I okay, was... Okay, I'm going to start asking you every day. Did you hit anything? Today? The minute I did it, I was not happy about it, but I went on with my day because I had like 40 more bells of hay to haul. I hit the shop. I was not happy about it, but you talked about it for weeks and you put a video out about it. <laughs> no, we were in the middle of recording a video. <laughs> you always have your phone. You could have recorded that. Nah, I, I was busy that day. See how much hay I had to put in? Anyway... Trust me, it wasn't a secret. You can come out to the barn and inspect anytime you want. And you can see any, everything that happens, Cass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, last thing we need to do. Are there any American breast eggs? We're going to go check for those. And then... Uh, You've been getting five to six a day? We've been getting five to six a day, but that's like towards the end of the day. And yeah. this, like, this is closer to noon. And that's what, three, three o'clock or four o'clock is when I usually get them, so... That is what's going on with well, that. Stop sign out on the bus. So that the wind yeah. catches it because there's there's no battery hooked up. But as soon as you hook the battery up, it goes whoop and comes right back in. Mm. There's a sensor on it that closes it and keeps it closed. So if you see a bus and the sign's not out on it, it's because the sensor does that and keeps it in. But as soon as any wind hits it, it goes. And the bus, right now, we... Uh, haven't really done anything else with it, but... I really want to power wash it. It's on our to-do list. But we're going to take that rubber floor out too, right? Yeah. So power wash, rubber floor removal, and starting to put in the new floor, or the new... we got to fill those holes. Yeah. So somebody told me take uh, all threads. You know what all thread is? Like JB Weld? Yeah, take all threads and... Uh, no, all thread is like a bolt that's all threads. It's just threads only and put it in it and put in each one of them and then to the little tack weld on top so we'll see hope ransom knows how to weld ransom is on a welding mission so we might have a welder by then 
And then, I just saw, I just saw um, Alvin chasing Honey and Mariposa, which they're completely gone by now. So, hopefully we'll have some uh, Krias coming up before too long. And by too long, I mean a year. You say that like, you know, a month away, people. I mean 2025. <laughs> That's the bad thing about alpacas and donkeys. It takes so long. That's why Cassie likes... And then if they're not bred and you didn't realize it, then you miss a whole year. The complete opposite of that would be quail. How long yeah. does it take a quail to... Uh, start laying eggs like start laying four eggs. to six weeks. Like six weeks they're laying eggs and then they hatch in 21 or 18 days. 18. 18 days. And so you can like grow up a quail population really quick. Maybe you should keep like, like 10 of them on hand for... Like really hard times because you could go from that hole? zero quail to like 500 quail in a matter of months. What happened to Brandon? He had a bunch. All right, let's see if there are any American breasts and then we're gonna finish up. There you go. I bet y'all have three or four more by three o'clock. It just takes them. Don't mix bit. them up. I won't. So before we end the video, I do want to show Cassie's flowers. They have been watered every day. I wonder who's been doing that. What are you calling them mine? Huh? Because we gave them to you, me and the uh, kids. They're Cassie's flowers. I think they're pretty. We might have to pinch some blooms off eventually when those start looking a little less and the leftover ones we made a couple flower pots there and over there also if they're your flowers technically you have to water them that's why i asked why you're calling them mine because you're, you're gonna have to water them eventually unless you can talk the kids into it they're the ones that planted them <laughs> for you they were your gift thank you so that's all we have time for. I'm gonna go start the oil change on Cassie's um, bus that she drives for Bradford. Get that changed up and ready to go. Yeah, and I gotta get ready and head into work. Uh, but keep praying for Baby Farrah over at our Brown Farmhouse. Um, I'm sure they'll have an update uh, sooner or later, but I know they're super busy, but they are home. Everybody's doing great. Been getting um, updates, so just be praying for him and them as they adjust and he keeps healing. Yeah, gotta make sure and give everybody time even when people do YouTube, when something big and uh, you know dramatic like that happens, they're gonna have to take a little time away from the channel, I would think, and recording. So we wanna thank you guys so much for following along with our family today. We hope you have a great day and God bless. We love you guys.